right, so I thought I'd do something a little bit different for this video. I just RGB modded my uh, NES. It has a multi-out output now, just like the Super Nintendo and N64 does, and now I can output S-Video with it, and because of that, I can output S-Video right into the retro tank and upscale it just like I do with my Super Nintendo games and N64 games. And what's really cool about that is we're gonna go through and look at what it looked like before, um, when I had just composite going straight into my Elgato game capture. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at that right now. And uh, I'm gonna watch the footage with you guys and let's check this out. I mean, it just looks like shit. Like it looks really bad. I mean, look at how fucking grainy this is. It It's almost unwatchable. Um, yeah, this is just pretty bad. It's very grainy. Uh, there's thankfully, it's not like RF where you have grain running through like the solid color of the background. Like it, it it's just like, it's almost like the sharpness is off. It's, some, it's so weird looking. It's just terrible. So this is a composite without any upscaling or anything like that. Just straight into the Elgato. This is not with the RGB mod. This is just a, what a stock NES would look like if you were to record it with an Elgato game capture. This is what that would look like. All right, so now that we've seen that, let's go and take a look at what the NES would look like into a retro tank. So, all right, so now we're checking out the retro tank with composite video. And it isn't nearly as bad as the first one, but it's still not as impressive as I thought it was going to be. So with the retro tank, it turns out you can't just throw composite video into it and get great video out of it. It will improve it, but it doesn't look much better, and to be honest, I had recorded a bunch of uh, NES gameplay just to see, you know, what it looked like with, with the Retro Tank and without, and I could barely tell the difference sometimes. So, if you're going to use the Retro Tank 2X, the moral of the story is you got to give it really good video input. Uh, you can't just put in crappy video like composite and expect to get great video out of it. It will make it better, but not by very much. It's still got a lot of that graininess to it. A lot of that sharpness is really fucked up on the edges. You can see there's all sorts of weird shit going on with the video. And now let's check out what the uh, let's check out what the RGB uh, S video looks like because I just recorded this now. I just finished this mod the other day and I was fucking stunned. So I'm kind of excited to see what it looks like after being recorded. I mean, wow, that is a fucking difference. Look at how clear, it almost looks like emulation sort of. Now, one thing I can say is, um, for some reason on the recording, um, I can't get Elgato to capture this, so I'm using another capture card to capture this. It's doing a pretty good job. It doesn't capture the FPS so well, I would say. Um, it does look better and smoother on my television, of course, but I still find this very much more watchable than the other shit. I mean, this is incredible. The fact that this is on real hardware is just incredible. So this is with the um, RGB 4.0, outputting S-Video into a retro tank, uh, line double to 480p. And this looks really good. I mean, this is about as good as you're gonna get without doing anything else major to your Nintendo. I mean, this is about as good as it's gonna get. I was expecting it to not be this good. Like, I'm shocked. This is about the quality that I would expect out of like a retro tank 5X. So to see this on my 2X is really incredible. But yeah, that wraps it up for the video. I just wanted to kind of give a really quick look over it. I didn't want to record like 20 games or some ridiculous shit like I do with um, some of these uh, cable comparison videos. The N64 one I just did, I only put in maybe like seven different games on that one, but fuck, I recorded every N64 game I had to see the difference with uh, Composite and the uh, Retro Tank 2X. If you want to see that, you can go ahead and click on the card. I'll put it in right now. But um, I couldn't fit all those games into one video. Just like I'm not going to try to do that with this one because you can just, with this one game, see the difference. And so uh, what I'm really looking to do is uh, record a whole bunch of uh, NES gameplay because now that I have uh, uh, the perfect setup for NES, I'd love to finally get to start playing some of that. Uh, we've been playing a lot of N64, a lot of 
we played a little bit of Xbox and a little bit of Wii on this channel and got got to see what those outputs look like. With my Xbox, I use component. With my Wii, I use component. But now with the NES, I finally have a really good video output. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for enjoying, and uh, so yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace, gamers. Thank you.